behold, this is one of the dirtiest stoves I have ever laid eyes on, and I'm going to clean it. A quick warning, this video will either gross you out or totally thrill you, depending on how strong your stomach is and how excited you get about cleaning it. For me, it was both, but mostly excited. Welcome clean freaks and germaphobes. Today I'm going to try to clean this incredibly greasy stovetop. This stovetop has cooked a pork chop every day for the past 11 years. So that makes roughly 4,000 pork chops splattering on the stovetop, which I know for a fact hasn't been properly cleaned for at least 11 years. Many have tried and many have failed. This grease is so thick and layered on that it has been impossible to clean. But after many tests on other stoves, I believe that I can get this clean. But first, if you're new to Clean Freak and Germaphobe, we love to find the fastest, easiest, and in this case, most effective way to clean. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more cleaning videos. After much testing, I have found that for the greasiest stoves, ammonia is the cleaner of choice. I won't use it for average stovetop cleaning because ammonia is very strong. Now here's where I give the user warning. Ammonia is irritating and corrosive. If you breathe too much of it in, it can burn your nose and your lungs. It can also burn your eyes. Too much can actually lead to respiratory distress. That being said, it's best that you wear goggles, work in a well-ventilated area, or work outside if you can, and wear a mask. Okay, now that we've gone over the disclaimer, let's get into the good stuff. I'm gonna basically saturate as much of the stove as I can using as little ammonia as I can. I did that by using paper towels. I saturated the paper towels with the ammonia and covered the stove top with them. I tried to cover every bit of the stove top with a wet paper towel. I poured a little in the burner wells because the grease was much thicker there. I then covered the entire stove top with saran wrap to trap in the fumes. I then filled a container with ammonia and turned the burner grate upside down and placed it inside the container and again, covered it in saran wrap. The plan was to let it sit overnight, but about three hours into it, I couldn't wait any longer to see how it was working. So I opened the saran wrap just to take a peek and here's my reaction. <sighs> Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh, I can't stop. I'm gonna have to pull this back. Did you see that? Oh, oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. Are you seeing this? It is just melting right off. Oh, I have to keep going. I'll just have to redo this up again. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look how easy. I'm dying. So just to compare, so this has been sitting as well, but it didn't have any, it didn't have a paper towel saturated with ammonia on it. So let's see how well that cleans. I mean, it's coming off for sure. Just about as well as I expect it to and as well as it's done in my previous video that I did about this and when I clean at home, but this, this is amazing. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna saturate it with soaked in with paper towels, soaked in ammonia, and then I'm gonna cover it again just to keep the fumes out. And then we're gonna clean it. Oh, I can't wait till tomorrow. It's gonna be so gorgeous. Did you know the stove was white? <laughs> I thought it was yellow. That's amazing. It made me so happy. I replaced the saran wrap and went to bed. Okay, so this has been sitting overnight and here's what it looks like right now. I'm really excited. I saw a little bit last night of how well this is gonna work. And so I'm really excited to see how this works. I think it's gonna work. So let's dive in. Again, if the ammonia is just too strong, you need to open up more windows or just move your stove outside. You don't want the fumes to be too strong. Look how this just melts, melts off. Down. But then when you get here where it was not covered, it does not come off. I 
I just want to point out that when I bought the greaser and the steam cleaner, I spent several hours each time trying to clean this off. And then this just peels off. <laughs> this is fun. I cannot believe this. While I'm cleaning this, I want to quickly say that some people might want to get judgy about the owner of the stovetop. He's a relative and he's seriously the sweetest old man whose wife did all the cleaning. But she passed away 11 years ago. He's very old and he just needs a little help. Also, speaking of not being too terribly judgy, we have been on a road trip for three days and I haven't showered in that many days. No makeup or brush either. And I just had a baby four weeks ago. So be kind. take this over to the sink to rinse. It's so thick right here. This caked on area right here is so thick, I'm gonna need to do a second layer. Unfortunately, our travel itinerary doesn't give me enough time to be able to stay and do that. So this is gonna be a job for the next time we come to visit. All right, so moving on to the grates. Here's how one looks after sitting overnight. Look how well this thick grease just falls off. It makes me think of a tender spare rib just falling off the bone. So I'm gonna do a final wipe down of the stove and then we are gonna leave it. Uh, the OCD part of me hates to leave it undone. This is killing me, this is killing me, all of this, but we are, uh, we've been camping all weekend and we've gotta get home before it gets too dark, so I don't have time to do the rest of this. This was mainly to be a demonstration and also a little bit of a test to see what works the best, so uh, the rest of this is just gonna have to wait, but I'm so thrilled with how this looks. This is just too thick for one layer. So either I would have to scrub it really well or just do another layer and let, or do another, um, do another treatment with the ammonia and the paper towel and just let it sit. Um, I don't have time for either of that though, unfortunately. Same with this over here. I mean, you can see it still comes off really, really easily. I hate to leave it. We just are out of time. Um, but as you can see, I mean, it works and it comes off really easily. So I'm going to clean this up, show you the final picture, and hopefully this helps. Oh, yeah.